does the brain create consciousness or generate consciousness? Well, we have to define what creation or generation means. <laughs> the brain is a terminal object in grammatical terms. Consciousness would be a non-terminal property of the terminal object. And so there's a simple category error that, that is occurring. When we have properties and products conflated, then we have questions like, does the brain create, does a terminal object create its own property? No. <laughs> no object creates properties. They instantiate properties. Instances instantiate properties, products instantiate properties, etc. So these are simple category errors that have to do with operating within philosophy, mathematics, science, outside of a self-dual paradigm, where properties, processes, and products, or rather relations, operations, and elements are either disjoint in principle or conflated. Both of these category errors are rampant in, like we said, philosophy, science, and mathematics. So does the brain create consciousness? Matter does not create its own properties. Matter instantiates its properties. What creates the properties? Well, that's a very interesting question because then creation has to be generalized to properties, processes, and products, namely mappings between properties and products are what are generative. So what is mapping the consciousness of a brain to the brain itself? What is mapping a source of properties, the most primitive of which being consciousness, to the brain, meaning all of the terminal objects that compose this composite terminal object we know as the brain, and of course you've got nervous system, central nervous system, peripheral nervous system, and other biological systems that are required for the brain to function, and can't be defined outside of, that, of, of the brain's context. These mappings are what metaphysic, mathematical metaphysics is all about. By the way, these mappings have to be self-dual, 